now I, I've fished the gut, the race, the sluice way many years. I, and all right, so nine inches, five ounces, uh, you, you would not think that you're going to drop this in 90 feet of water and it's ever going to hit the bottom in the gut on a full moon with right. the current going three and a half knots. Somehow it does. And oh my God. I mean, look, I've bucked, you know, I'm a bucktail guy. Yeah, of course. This thing, I, I don't, I've never seen a lure freak me out the way this thing did the, and the video, I, like I said, the video posted an hour ago. So yeah, so we'll, we'll I'll talk about it, it on the thing. I, yeah, I, for sure. The most amazing thing. And, and I have nothing to do with this. This is some, this, uh, Nichols is, um, was it Parker? Some guy Parker, the name of the spoon is Nichols, but this is Tony Maha's spoon. I know he makes bunker spoons. Yeah. I, yeah, I have totally, no yeah. vested interest in this whatsoever. Um, right. In fact, I'm screwing myself because I'm a bucktail guy. Yes, of pushing, course. Pushing spoons. Okay. So. Right. So you're taking away. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. That's nuts. When I was on a boat about 10 days ago, this is all pretty recent now, and somebody said they're going to drop this spoon to the bottom of the gut in it was about we were in about 80 feet of water i said to him i said that's stupid <laughs> and then he proceeded to get it to the bottom and i was like okay and then he hooked a couple of fish with it unfortunately the only thing he brought up was a blue fish he had something break him off and so we never got to see any of the fish um but i was impressed that he he got he got the spoon down so um he had one thing led to another and uh he, he came to my house and i came to possession of these big spoons and a couple days actually two days after that um i got out with some friends of mine that i usually fluke fish with but since the fluking wasn't so great we went bass fishing it's nice and close to where we live um so these guys know how to three-way bucktail and um we had four guys in the boat one guy stayed on the wheel the whole time and the other two guys you know went down with the bucktails like they normally would and i decided to go ahead and drop the big drop the big spoon down and i have to tell you on the first drift because it's my first drop i i'm clueless i don't know what i'm doing I'm, i dropped it down on, on 30 pound braid 80 pound leader um, I really had trouble detecting, like I did not detect bottom. I don't, uh, didn't have, a, I had, had no idea where the damn spoon was. And I actually thought to myself, because my friend next to me, boom, he hooks up right away with the three-way, you know, like, all right. I took a few cranks to reel it in and I got hit and I laughed. I said, oh, you're not going to believe it. I just actually got hit on this thing. And in the middle of that sentence, boom, I got clobbered and the fish was about 25 pounds, which was much bigger than what, you know, like one of the guys, he'd been out there probably five times in the previous two weeks. He goes, oh, he goes, we're not getting any, anything this big. He said, we're getting slots. The slots are 28 to 35 inches. We don't we didn't have anything over slot. So. All right. So that was first drift. So now I'm obligated to try the spoon on the second drift. Right. Well, second drift, uh, I got one that was like probably just over slot. So it wasn't, you know, it was probably, you know, a 20 pounder. And then the next. Was it, the next four fish were probably 25 to 30 pounds. And I mean, we're, I'm not exaggerating here. And the guys on the boat are not getting them. They're not getting them with the bucktails. The guy running the boat said, you know, he goes, I'm watching the guys around the other boats. He said, they're not doing what you're doing. I, I couldn't look up. I was busy the whole time. 